Welcome back to the Lickin' Room. Always a pleasure to have you here. So, we're gonna learn THINK. And uh, you can download the tab for free. As always, the link is below in the description. And when you're there, you'll notice that I just launched a free finger style workshop. A complete seven day free finger style workshop. In depth, step by step. It's gonna blow your mind. You're gonna level up your finger style game. We're gonna have so much fun together. So check it out and I can't wait to see you inside. Can you tell that I'm excited? I've been working on this for months. Uh, I've been working my ass off on this. So, all right. Um, you start with five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven on the D string and you play the open A string with it. Okay, and at the end of this lick, you have seven, seven, seven on strings, two, three, and four, and then five, 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 and you hammer on six on the third string. Okay, so it's D, A. So it's... Okay, any way you want to play it is fine. Okay, it's an arrangement after all. You can stick to the original or you can, you know, lay your own groove on this. And then you have think, 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 think. So it's... Okay, uh, that's the solution that I found here. You can also go... Okay, but th that kind of sounded too mechanical for me. So I'm playing an A chord up and down. So it's five, five, six on one, two, three, and then two, two, two an A chord, and I play strings two, three, four. So, and then you have, okay, it's um, pentatonic scale. It's eight, five on the second, seven, five on the third, seven on the fourth, and I pull off the eight, five. And then you have, think, think again. It's five, five, six again with A twice. And then you have this. It's, uh, if you wanna think about it as a chord, think about it as D sus four, okay? It's a D chord with three on the second string. Now, um, it's three, three on the first, and then the chord. And then you take it two frets up, now it's E, so it's the E bass now. And then it's A again, five, five, six. So it's. And then you have think, think again. And then you have the same D and E line, only without the first ring. So it's. So everything goes down a string uh, musically or up physically. You just play strings two, and then the third string. Okay, before it was just the first string all the way, the melody. Okay, now it's... 
Mm. All right, and then um, you have this. It's three, 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 five on the first string. And again, be as wild as you want. Okay, play it any way you want to play it. I play it with the A bass because that's the chord. Now you can also add the chord to it, but if you want, but then it's kind of impossible to play five in this constellation. It's three, five, six. Okay, you can slide if you want. I don't like this variation, so I don't play it. You might like it, so by all means, play it. And then you have this. Three, one, three, one on the second, two on the third. Now, the bass notes are the challenge here because it's D, E, A, okay? The, the strings, D, E, A, okay? Strings, four, six, five. So you kind of have to mute it, but because of the speed, you don't necessarily have to, you know, absolutely mute it precisely. Sometimes it's really nice because if you do this, it's fine, but if you play both of them, it's E7. Okay, so D and E are fine. And then if you hear this, it's A. It's A over E. So it's it's fine. It works. D and E work together as, in, as an E7 chord and A and E work together as an A over E chord. So don't, you know, don't force yourself to mute everything perfectly. That's a part of the wildness here. So, okay, 3-1 with D, 3-1 with E. And then two with A. And then again. Um, yeah, this, this song takes work. And then it's uh, three, 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 five again with A. And then you have the D, E, A again with three, 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 five. So D, E, A. And then again. And then you just play a blues line with five and three, okay? And just finish on five on the first string. I play, okay, just five, three on the first, five on the second, three, five on the first. So D, E, A. Then the chorus. Think, think. And then this again, you can variate and play 2-2-2 two, two, two on the third string if you want. And then again. And then you have freedom. So, A. Okay, you can play the whole chord. But you get the same result. Okay, because it's an A bass. C. Bar on A. And then you have D. Okay, now because we have the open D bass string, uh, I play this 12, 10, 11, okay? Okay? 12, 10, 11 on springs one, two, and three with D. And then you have this. Okay? You bar the 10th fret. I play uh, t just 12, 10, 12, 10, just hammer ons, pull offs, just freestyle. And when I wanna finish, I play 13 on the second string, 11 on the third, 10, 10 on the second. So it's. And then um, you can play the whole song again, or you can play the freedom part again, and then the whole song. And then the bridge is basically five, seven, seven on strings one, two, and three with D, this is a D chord. And it's just five, five, eight on the first string, so. Then the fourth time around, okay, you can variate on this and play five, eight, five on the first string, seven on the second, five on the first. But again, this is more talkative. The tab is 75% suggestion, okay? The tab is just, you know, a suggestion for what you can base your freestyle playing on. Okay, so um, have fun with this. Freestyle away. Really, really feel this song. Practice it slowly at first. That's the best advice that I can give you. Uh, and uh, just let yourself be free. Pun completely unintended. Um, 
That's freedom, freestyle. Freestyle, 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 freestyle. Okay, I'll stop making an assault of myself. Download the tab, join the completely free seven day finger style workshop, lickandriff.com. The link is below in the description, or just type in lickandriff.com. You'll get there the whole tab book, over 300 finger style arrangements. Oh my gosh, where does the time go into making arrangements? Uh, I'll see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now. Have fun.